Kleckner is a firearms attorney and former Army Ranger, and he joins us tonight. Ryan, thanks a lot for coming on. Mm -hmm. um, so this is something we've been talking about for quite some time. Uh, assess the specifics before we get to the general. Joe Biden has said in the clip we just played that any magazine that holds more than a single round ought to be banned, and it's crazy not to. <laughs> Uh, I'm hoping this is just another Joe Biden gaffe that he just has no idea what he's talking about because I don't know of a single magazine tucker that doesn't hold more than one round of ammunition. If, if he means what he says and he actually knows what he's talking about, then you're right. He's talking about banning every single gun out there that accepts a magazine. Huh. So w the scale of this, I mean, I think we should put this into some perspective. The mm -hmm. scale of this is, is, is enormous. Like, mm -hmm. there are there are millions upon millions, tens of millions of firearms and potentially up to a billion magazines that fall under the banned categories as described by these candidates. What would it look like for the government to take them away? Oh, take them away? I'm glad you said take them away because uh, uh, Beto O'Rourke is saying he's going to buy them back like the government owned them in the first place. They have some right to buy them back. But th what I hear when he says that is I'm going to come door to door and take your guns from you and I'm going to bring my guns, because if you don't want to give them up, I'm going to use my guns to force them from you. We're talking mass scale police door to door. We're talking insane amounts of money. And you already said it. The assault weapon ban we had under the Clinton area not only did nothing to curb gun violence, we actually peaked. Our worst violence we had peaked during the middle of the Clinton assault weapons ban. This is going to do nothing to stop crime overall. It's going to do nothing to stop violence overall. I mean, look at Chicago, Tucker. We had more people shot in Chicago than we did in the horrible tragedy of Odessa. But yet, we're not hearing anyone talk about that. Is it because people expect it there? Is right. it because people know that Chicago, oh, that's just Chicago? Why shouldn't we care about people that live there, too? Why shouldn't we realize that none of those shootings had anything to do with a so-called, quote-unquote, assault weapon? It's sad. Well, it's sad, but it's, uh, you know, shootings like this really are something that we ought to pay attention to. Both Absolutely. Both in Chicago and Odessa, because they, mm -hmm. they tell us that something is really wrong, really wrong. Mm -hmm. Murdering strangers? Why would you do something like that? When was the last time you heard a politician on the left begin that conversation, ask the obvious question, why is this happening? Well, I, I haven't, and I, I, I hope the reason why is they're just going for attention. I hope they really aren't as malicious as they might be. I hope they're realizing that this is polling well, and this is an emotional way for them to tug at people's heartstrings, and that they can get talked about, and here you and I are talking about them. I really hope that their ignorance is only going this far, that they think it's popular. Yeah. If, if they really think that because their emotions trump the civil liberty of the rest of the country, that, that scares me. Well, it's a, it's a recipe for something we should be really afraid of. Ryan, thanks very Absolutely. much for that.